Welcome to Shadow over Normoth, a Silent Hill kind of, I, I do believe demo, but could be wrong, uh, it's Silent Hill kind of indie horror game. Looked interesting, we're going to give it a go. Shadow over Normoth. Normoth. Oh, PlayStation, oh yeah. Uh, E to shoot, I gotcha, okay, sure. Shift to sprint, that's great, fantastic. Eat and interact, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. What do we got here? First aid kid, hell yeah. Alright. He looks like some kind of lumberjack kind of Chad dude. What's this? Sewer grate? No idea. Wait, this looks eerily familiar. The one under the lighthouse? Just without the stairs? Oh. A <laughs> loading screen for the stairs. Uh, classic. The lighthouses. So eerie, so evil. It's weird how so many horror games now have lighthouses in them, though. Seriously. Open that door. Old blunt fire axe. Damn, I'm swinging it with such fucking speed and power that might as well be goddamn guts from Berserk. All that's missing is if I hit metal and it makes a frying pan PANG sound. We'll see what noise it makes when we hit an enemy. It's locked. Not for long! Huh? No. It should be. If it's locked, then how come we can't axe our way inside the locker? Checkmate? We'll see. It's locked from the other side. Uh, can we smash the boxes? Oh shit! Explodes the pure power that I have. Shit, I called him a lumberjack. I mean, now it makes sense. Someone fired a gun. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. You just killed yourself right when I. Uh -huh. Brog, brog, brog. Looks a little waterlogged. He's kind of fucked up looking, but he was still able, I guess, to... Even while looking blue, or... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be referencing, like, the, the fish people of the, the Cthulhu storylines. I don't know. Or if he's just a zombie. But I guess he had sanity left to be able to be like, Yeah, I don't like this. I'm going to shoot myself now. Uh, how many bolts do we have, though? Uh, okay, who knows? We have a gun. That's all that matters. We're gonna shoot anything that comes towards us. If not, ask them a question. We'll see. One or the other. But since I don't know how many bullets we have... Like, legit, it doesn't tell me. Oh, there it is. Zero ammo. Okay. Nope. Hey. It's weird, too, that this outside area reminds me of Dino Crisis in a way. Although not as detailed as Dino Crisis, because, I mean, it was a AAA game. Also, how the fuck did a car get here? No, seriously, how, why is there a car here? On the cliff side, where the only thing here are wire fences and a door and stairs going up a mountain. How the fuck did someone drive a car up here for it to... I, I'm... Okay. I, 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 I don't know, man. But there's, I, I'm confused. Oh, wait, there's more cars up here. Oh, was there a road up here? Is this a highway? I guess there's a highway here. Okay, that, that makes uh. The car... Wait, where the fuck am I?
What? Crab people. Sentinel of the Veil. Fucking goddamn giant crab. No. Let me go. <laughs> fucking crab people from South Park. Okay. Uh. Uh. Sentinel of the Veil. Truth. Should just call him crab. Crab person. Um. But yeah, I'm not gonna probably be able to unless like if he attacks. Nope. Never mind. He just grabs me instantly. Oof. Oof. I have no chance. I'm gonna die if I keep this up. Fuck. Stop. <laughs> Oof. Uh, danger. Good. Uh. No. Oh, come on. His grab radius is bullshit. Uh, oof. I, I think I'd like to try to circle around him, but he just grabs me instantly. Uh, oof. Goddamn Roblox oof. Alright, we gotta just get the fuck out of here then. Fuck it. I can't imagine myself winning in a goddamn fight, honestly. How do we get out of here? I highly doubt they'd expect me to be able to win unless he just has, like, a stupid amount of, like... Unless I'm meant to just die, I guess. That'd make the most sense, because this guy seems a little too overwhelming. Unless... The question is, do we need to die to it? Like Silent Hill 1, kinda? Eh, yeah, probably. Fuck it, I'll, tr I'll try to... Yeah, I have no choice. I think I wasted all my medkits then by... <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I'll hit you at least once. Fuck you! Before dying. <laughs> Oof. It's all just a dream. Yep, good, good, good. But I wasted my medkits because of that. Somebody don't give a person medkits before a um, death that is quote unquote meant to happen. So I wasted it thinking I actually could have a chance of fighting it. Oh well, I guess. What is this? Oh, okay, they're giving me more. That's good. That's good. Mm. Noise. Uh, I'll still save the pest lemma. I don't know how scarce ammo is in this. Smash. Mmm. Mmm. Hell yeah, more ammo. Floating boxes, get away. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Da danger. That thing is a little strong. All right, well then, I'm not gonna use the axe. It's like the knife, useless. God damn it, we have to switch to the axe every time we want a melee though. All right. Oh, thank God. But yeah, no, no combat with melee. Child shoe. A tattered trinket from a repressed memory. Sure. Mm. Good. I can't lose too much health, honestly. It's just... Mm. Oh! Barely have a chance of just, like, shooting them and not being hit at least fucking once. Ugh. What's this way? A yellow thing? Skeleton? I don't know, skeleton behind the rusty bars? I have no idea. Can I save the game, by the way? At all? Probably not. I'm pretty much fucked in my mind. Uh... I see there was a skeleton. We have 17 bullets, probably one or two more hits, and we're dead, too. We also don't have the ability, which is pretty normal in all tank-based games, or if you hit S to walk backwards and hit the shift key, you're supposed to do a 180 spin, so I guess developer, please add that. 
Uh, I'm just gonna run, you know? Running is probably for the best. Let's not run into a dead end, which we're probably gonna... Fucking hell. Or get... Or get stuck! Oh, thank God. Okay, well, at least we didn't lose complete progress. At least there's a checkpoint system. That's... That's at least something. Okay, now these fuckers are dead. And we only have one... Oh, we have zero health kits now, too. I'd imagine the basic gist of, is if you want to survive in the game, you either have to preemptively know where the enemies are and shoot beforehand because you can't see them in the darkness before they come after you. Wait. Oh. Well, I guess we can't do this, unless it's time-based. Hmm. No, we'll leave it for later. Or not. Hmm. Maybe it's time-based, or we need to use the shoe for some reason. Hmm. Wait. JR. Eh, okay, time base. Let's try it. Rush. Hmm. Well. Curious. What would the figure out? Oh, uh, wait, I think I understand then. There we go. Oh, wait. Hopefully that didn't fuck me over. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I think that made us over locked in, though. But if we would have been able to maybe rush in, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, if we open that lever, we'll probably reset. There's like a puzzle, I guess, about rushing. From gate to gate to gate to gate, quickly. We'll see. Uh -huh. That might be a reset, though. Because if I flip this guy... Yeah. They were meant to flip the first switch, and then rush up there quickly. Probably. Oh, we just missed it. I'm not sure for. I'm not honestly sure. I'll just slowly do things and figure it out, or this way. No, never mind. Yeah, well, we're slowly gonna have to figure it out. All right. Well, apparently, doing the levers in a specific order, all of them, I think, maybe upwards. This one over here in the first tunnel opened. All right. At least we got some better lighting out here. Shotgun ammo. Plus 20 of it, too. Beautiful. Holy shit. Okay, never mind about ammo scarcity. We don't have to worry about that. Jesus. I need to find that shotgun, though. Pistol is bare minimum. Like, you can survive, sure, but you're gonna get hit once. Unless you're some kind of god at movement, I don't know. Or play like you're some kind of... Age of Empires archer shooting a melee opponent where you shoot an arrow once, run away like a little bitch, turn around, shoot, and then run away again. That kind of shit is annoying in fucking real-time strategy games. Mm, meh, just lamppost. Alright, what's up here? Better not be another giant enemy crab. There's a lot of fucking giant boxes. Locked. Yeah, well, smashy, smashy time. I do enjoy smashing boxes, so I mean, I, I don't mind. But I'm gonna assume it's just because it's a demo. That is just so much ammo being given to me. Like, seriously. 
121. How am I going to use all this? Like in a boss fight or something? Jesus. I want a shotgun, though. Seriously, where's the shotgun? I want to, like, kill those stupid little enemies in one shot. Hmm. Yeah. There's enough range that it didn't hit me once, thankfully. He got me once. Hmm. Probably where we're meant to go. Uh... Damn. You're like hitting me once and I go from healthy to... to caution and one more hit goes to danger. That's kind of... crazy how much goddamn damage they do. This is the normal difficulty too. more of that, fine. I want the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Okay, fuck these boxes. A hidden door? Okay. Hello. Yeah, this is weird, I know. Yeah. Is this a shotgun? No. I thought I saw a, sh a shiny. Uh... Oh. Did you know there are over 32,000 different species of fish? Play ocean work. Oh. Huh. Can I- can I kill you? Hmm. Well, interesting secret, but, uh, I was hoping for a shotgun. No shotgun equals a little bit of a disappointment. Hmm. Damn. This is a strange perspective, damn. Shotgun? That's not a shotgun. I saw a sparkle and then there's no more sparkle. It lied to me. I thought there'd be an item there. What? Skeleton angel demon? What? Boss fight? Gregor. Uh. Oh, jeez. Uh. Hey, fuck you, Gregor, Mr. Mayor. Can I shoot him like this? No. Okay. Let's be conservative of our ammo. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Nah, eh, whatever. One hit does the same amount of damage as a typical enemy. It was weird enough as it is, but we can shoot him like four times, then start moving. Good. Easy. He only has one attack pattern. I can shoot him four times and then two times. One or two more phases and I got him. It's, uh... I'm gonna imagine the guy being a mayor or ex-former mayor. Yeah, he's pretty shitty at his job. 
because he makes for a pretty shitty boss. I don't, I don't know if I'd say that, I'm not saying that in terms of like game or game development wise or AI wise, but maybe more attack patterns at least though. He did. Mm, you just have to dodge one single bite attack. I don't know, you need more variability. That's at least would be my suggestion and feedback to the boss fight. If that boss fight is going to be in a full game, if the game becomes demo to full game. I don't know, man. Otherwise, apparently we can't go up there. We got a lighthouse now, so we have to go back to where we came from? I don't know why there's, like, stairs and there's perfect symmetry in this area. Like, what kind of area this would be in real-world logic? It's kind of weird. But, I don't know. Let's go back. This way? Oh, thank God. All right. Uh. We're going, I guess, at least not backtracking through the sewers or anything. Oh, we're actually here. Shit. Wasn't expecting that. Wait, but we've got the lighthouse key. For the, like, for here? Loathsome rifle. Whoa. Oh, shit, is that the shotgun? Oh! I don't know why you're calling a shotgun a rifle, but... I don't know, my slug? Is it a slug using gun? Still, I mean, they call it the shotgun ammo. As Normoth is well known in the production of guns, it's no surprise that one can find bullets almost anywhere. Such a shotgun. What, what a rifle? Is it normal? I'm I'm not a gun crazy educated person, but I mean, it looks like a shotgun. Why would they call it a rifle? Do, do, is there any kind of shotguns that are just called the rifle? Nice. Excuse me? Ex that reeked of bullshit, but okay. Uh, <coughs> where are we going? Um, this. I wouldn't imagine this way, but. Are we gonna go face the crab again? With the shotgun this time? I guess it's possible. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can kick the stupid, uh, crab. This crab's probably still here. We'll wander on the highway and he'll be like, Hey, get the fuck off the highway, this is my domain. Kinda shit. And he'll show up and start trying to harass me. And I'll kill him. I, I don't... I don't I don't think I need to use the axe for the boxes anymore. Where the fuck is the crab boss? Face me, you coward! I have no idea where he is, though. He's hiding. Even with an armored shell, it's not like... It's not like crabs would have a... A shell that would deflect bullets. Even crabs as big as him. Yeah, he'll still grab me a few times, no doubt. Then I'll go, oof. He seems... Oh, come on! So these grabs are still horseshit. Oh, wait, I don't have... Oh, wait, I do. Yep, yep. Okay. Come on. Oh, jeez. He rushed me. Alright. Not gonna give you any more chances, crab. It's going through them! That's bullshit! If you're too close to the enemy model, it fucking goes through them. Bullshit! Fuck you! Yeah, that's right, bleed all your... red blood. And... now we're on the highway again. Alright. We killed him, that's all that matters. 
Now we're running into a cave. Eh, whatever. I ain't got a sh questionable body positions. The fuck is that? I'm gonna assume that's just water and not some weird blue goo. Walking in it doesn't have splishy splashy noise. It sounds like I'm walking on dirt, but oh well. I'll see it as an oversight. Something weird's gonna happen though for sure. These people are in like praying positions. Like the Dragon Temple and Dragon or in Dark Souls 1. What? Hmm. Oof. Oof. Alright, I'm not doing any damage. Uh well, I guess I'm dead. Hmm. I guess I'll just try to walk through this portal, maybe? Nope. Uh. Hmm. Well, at least the checkpoint's not too far. I'm kind of confused. Hmm. Maybe this is like a hint. They're kneeling. Can I axe them? I have to wonder like if there's something that's a source of his power that I need to remove, because he didn't take any damage prior. Hmm. It's not like I can crouch in the game. I'm not honestly sure. Mm, we'll have to look around the boss level to see if there's anything we can do. Or if I have to hit him only with an axe, or I have to deflect his attacks with an axe? We'll see. If the axe can deflect his ability like we're... Like it's like a Legend of Zelda game, I swear to God. Jesus Christ. Alright, batter's up. No. It is like Ocarina of Time's Ganon fight? You're kidding me. I was joking around. Uh, they must be a fan of Ocarina of Time, yeah. <laughs> Seriously? I gotta keep doing that without missing because I have very little uh, one health pack, alright. Alright. I might just skip ahead and. Oh. No, oh, never mind. Yeah, okay. Batters up. Depends on how much he bounces it back to me or not. One more time. We got this. We got this. Batters up with the old blunt fire axe. Scott is pretty stupid since he keeps using the same attack and he keeps getting really injured from it, but whatever. Being the first ascendant doesn't mean you're going to be the brightest tool in the fucking shed. Or the sharpest, rather. You can't, you can't be a bright tool unless, unless... Unless maybe you're made out of silver or gold and you get polished daily. And anyways, that's not the point. The first Ascended is dead. Fuck you. You Ganon-ass fucking piece of shit. What? What seems to be the destination may only be the outset Salvation follows acceptance of what was a solemn terror journeys with you forevermore, the terror of the truth. Okay, Mr. Beach Whale God Torso thing, I didn't ask for riddles or poems or shit, man. 
Huh. What, what, only one out of four secrets. Damn. Huh. But yeah. Oh, was that a demo or is that just like a weird short indie horror game? Let me double, 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 double check. Uh, let's see. Made by Warkus. It is. It doesn't say demo, actually. Demo. It's not a demo. But there might be more to the game, like if the secrets unveil different, more, like more to the story, depending on what rank you get. Possibly. But it isn't a demo. Uh, let's see. Has someone a already asked in the comment section? Has this game been fully released? And will it receive any further updates? Blah, blah blah blah. So the current version is intended to be somewhat of a full game, but that doesn't mean that I would maybe pick it up sometime again and expand on it. I don't get like itch.io like comment section sometimes, or just like people like thumb people down or thumb people up. And it sometimes doesn't make any sense. It could just be a person, like, posting a normal content. And it's just, like, a lot of negativity. It feels like itch.io's comment section is, like, going downhill. But that's just a, a random rant throwing out there. People just, like, posting comments saying, Hey, this was a fun game. Or, it was decent. Here's a video I made on it. And they get, like, negative three votes on it. I don't know why. I, I don't know. But, whatever, I guess. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. It's not a demo, it's a full game. It's all right, but obviously for fine-tuning kind of things like enemy attack patterns or what kind of interval you make in an attack pattern where if an enemy is, let's say your model is this, right, your, my, my finger, and then an enemy goes and it collides within a certain distance and they're programmed of once they reach certain distance, which is their attack distance, how many seconds or milliseconds before their animation of an arm strike registers as a hit on you unless you move backwards and if so what kind of saving graces are there of how far back before it becomes a miss um because it's like if it's hard to like sort of shoot an enemy and not get hit during combat there's no dodge mechanics there's there's nothing that's like really fine-tuned to make it like a really uh you know, like a game with a lot of mechanics or something to help with survival. I don't know, it's, it's just something out there, because I know a lot of people don't like Silent Hill games where it became too combat focused, because then it became less about running away or survival, but you being able to be a one-man army, and usually people try to teeter the line of, well, you want to be combat efficient, or a lack of combat efficient and make you weak because most indie horror or not indie horror most survival horror games that are like Silent Hill usually prey on the concept that you are not combat experienced and you are basically a moron when it comes to combat but you can sort of defend yourself but you know not too greatly and ammo usually is scarce and blah 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 just like, it's like, it's like sort of why a lot of indie horror games, or, sorry, not again, not indie horror, why survival horror tank-based games, usually the, the main character is like a frail-looking young woman, usually, just be, to give you the, the feeling or the sensation that you're not some strong buff dude who can just beat the shit out of any monster that's similar size to him. Unlike the crab, the crab would just beat the shit out of you, of course. Punching a crab isn't gonna do jack shit. Or, just punching a giant crab, that is. But either way! No more ranting. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short indie horror game, then. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Become a fluff subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.